The Smart Electric Drive hit the ground in 2007 is a modified version of a standard Smart 4 Chuo City car. But the first generation wasn't something just anyone could go out and buy it was only available to corporate clients. The second generation came around shortly after, in 2009, and was an actual production car, eventually, 2010, reaching US shores in limited numbers and through CAR2GO, the street park ride sharing rental system. The third generation eventually came here in 2013 and was the first smart 412 electric drive that could actually be owned. Well, mostly, the car was yours, but the battery was leased through smart. Now, for 2017, Smart is rolling out another generation of Smart 412 electric drive with a battery that is as much yours as the rest of the car. The new Smart 412 amp carries the same styling changes as the rest of the Smart lineup, new front and rear fascias, an infotainment system and, eventually, an adjustable steering wheel, Smart tells us. The electric drive gets a host of unique updates as it crests into the new generation, a new electric motor, a new battery pack and new creature comfort features such as cabin preconditioning, activating the climate controls before you get in the car ideally while it's still on a charger, by way of a smartphone app. That app, called Smart Control, will also tell you the current charge of your smart head, its tire pressure, current mileage, and echo score. Unlike the rest of the functions of the app, the preconditioning is limited by battery percentage, under 30% and the system won't function for the sake of protecting you from sitting in a comfortable, but immobile car. Stepping inside, the Smart Apps passenger compartment feels, for its size, spacious. There is a lot of legroom for both the driver and passenger. We wish we could say the same for the cargo space, we managed to stuff two full backpacks in the storage area but that was about the limit. Of course, given the packaging constraints of the Smart 412, what is present is surprising. There's enough space to haul food from a small grocery trip, some bags from a shopping venture or the previously mentioned duo of backpacks. Instead of using offensive rubbery plastic on the dash and door panels, Smart covered the not-so-often-touched places with a canvas-like material. Shiny black plastic is used for the soon-to-be smudged touch points on the dash like the center stack area, but it looks good sans fingerprints. What is it? The 2017 Smart for 2 convertible is, predictably, its coupe counterpart, coupled with the removable roof rails and two-stage folding top from its previous convertibles. What's it like to drive? It's the most pleasant driving Smart 412 available. The 80 HP electric motor feeds the rear wheels by way of a direct drive transmission and provides smooth operation. Peak torque is available at throttle tip-in, which means this thing scoots from a stoplight. Sure, there it has a 0 to 30 time slower than most high performance cars can reach 60 miles per hour, but it gets to city speeds in a decent 4.9 seconds. The top speed is around 81 miles per hour, but with the short wheelbase and limited battery life, we wouldn't suggest taking this to El Mirage or Bonneville, at least not in stock trim. The new battery is full of lithium ion cells produced by LG but is assembled by the Daimler subsidiary Accumotive. It's apparently good for about 80 miles worth of driving, but you'll be kept aware of the charge by a gauge located where the Tatch used to live. Instead of redesigning the gauge cluster and throwing in some sort of battery charger gauge, Smart simply replaced the guts of the Fortwo's dash-mounted Tatch, the perfect example of an automaker taking the simple approach to solving a problem. The Smart Fortwo's biggest asset, its small size, is also its biggest problem during driving, in order to not rattle your fillings loose over bumps Smart has to spring this microcar softly. The front McPherson struts and rear Dion suspension are soft and produce noticeable body roll and dive under braking. During city driving, this is an agile commuter, but ramping up to highway speeds turns that agility into an all-over-the-road headache. The Smart Fortwo's agility shines again with a responsive electric power steering system. A surprising amount of feedback bleeds through the system to the driver's hands, making it what we call communicative. It might even be on the heavy side for non-enthusiasts. That being said, it's direct, which probably has a lot to do with the short wheelbase and front-end geometry. Do I want it? While the gas-powered, i3 equipped Smart Fortwo offers better range, its rough idle and less than stellar transmission make the electric drive seem more attractive. If the electric drive was as easy to charge as the internal combustion version was to refuel, then it would be the obvious choice, but that isn't the case. In cities that have already adopted a sufficient support system, the Smart Fortwo electric drive could be a minor hit in for those cities that haven't, you probably won't see too many. 
Also, with everyone from Chevrolet to Volkswagen offering electric vehicles with more range, it makes the Smart a hard sell for anyone looking at primary transportation. As a second car, the Portwo electric drive makes a lot of sense. If it's the only car you plan to own, you might need to check out something more substantial. Thanks for watching 2017 Smart Portwo Electric Drive Review and First Drive. Don't forget to subscribe us for more car reviews and first drives.